what is going on guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video and today's video is going to be pretty different compared to what this channel has been mostly about and no we're not talking about the camaro back there or the truck today guys we're going into lawn mowers and trimmers that is loud now before we jump right into the video guys i do want to go ahead and say thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and for basically coming back and watching the videos and helping the channel grow we are almost at 5,000 subscribers which is amazing that is halfway to the 10,000 subscriber goal by the end of the year and without you guys it would not be possible so really really want to thank you guys for all your support and if you haven't subscribed which about three and every four of you aren't make sure to hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up button and make sure that you are keeping up with the videos we've got the camaro that's being sold i am looking actively for a zl1 we do have the denali here so lots of stuff coming to the channel you don't want to miss so thank you and let's get right to it that is right guys now if you guys haven't been living under a rock you guys will know that houston and texas in general was hit with crazy winter storm and i mean our grass is completely dead so we're gonna have a pretty good time trying to get all the green back in the grass but it is the end of february and we're getting into march and that means that it is going to be time to start really cutting the grass a little more often and basically getting into the lawn care side of things and as a homeowner i pride myself in doing most of the stuff myself and i've had a gas mower for about over five years now and it's worked and i've helped get it working you know every single season after i stored away in november but last year it was starting to give up it was basically losing power and if it would shut off getting it started back when it was hot was pretty difficult so this year i decided when it was time i was going to go ahead and upgrade to a battery or electric battery operated mower because of course the battery technologies have all advanced tremendously and we are now at a point where battery powered equipment is almost if not almost as strong if not stronger than some gas counterparts so what did i do i went to home depot and i bought what is the latest and greatest this is the new lawnmower that i just purchased this is the ryobi 40 volt hp line which is their new for 2021 version and of course i also got the 40 volt hp version of their cordless string trimmer which actually comes with a carbon fiber drive shaft so not even not even the Camaro has that, and this does. Now, why did I go with Ryobi, guys? Well, it's because of this. My dad actually got me this 40-volt Ryobi blower for my lawn, and it has been amazing. Very, very powerful machine using the same 40-volt system. Now, knowing that this performed as well as it did guys this is not the brushless version so it's not even their strongest and it is amazing does the job that i want from it easily i decided to go ahead and give their lawnmower and string trimmer a try so let's go ahead and unbox these and show you guys kind of what it comes with the mower itself comes with two six amp hour batteries and a rapid charger and this comes in at about $600. This is the crosscut, so it has the two blades and the adaptive cruise control basically with your fingers. And that is $600 where you can get the same mower but with a single blade and no adaptive cruise control, just a cruise control setting on a switch for $100 less at $500. And they both come with the same two six amp hour batteries and the rapid charger, which by the way, that rapid charger itself is a hundred dollars 
and that is a key component when I looked at buying the string trimmer guys this is the 40 volt HP it's supposed to be three times more powerful than the normal 40 volt string trimmer and it comes with the 4 amp battery and it also comes with another rapid charger and this came in at $230 where the non hp version which is the 40 volt brushless model comes in at 200 dollars. they both come with the foreign battery but the difference is the brushless non hp version comes with their standard non rapid charger so when you look at a difference of 30 dollars between the hp and the non hp it's a no-brainer guys go for the hp if you're going to be getting the string trimmer because you're going to get a much better value with that rapid charger that charges i believe three times faster now with the mower itself you can go either either or the cross cut with the dual blade or single blade i mean not really much of a difference there save yourself a hundred dollars and get the other one power wise it should all be pretty much relatively identical so let's go ahead and unbox these and show you guys what you get okay guys so here's pretty much what you get with the string trimmer and like i mentioned you get the rapid charger which on its own is a hundred dollars you get the main power unit um and it's pretty light not heavy at all and as you guys can see it is actually carbon fiber which is crazy and then you do get the bottom head unit now already ryobi what is that going on i already found this bolt that basically clamps the head to the shaft broken so yeah we're basically we are going to be returning this and getting a new one and of course it comes with the rest of the head cover and the three in one head unit so you could swap this out from the spooling to the cut string or use these serrated blades and you get the handle so overall pretty good package you also get the battery in here i'm not gonna go ahead and tear it down because we are going to need to replace this i will probably just return it back to home depot and get a new one so going back into the package and we're not going to touch that guys unfortunately but we will go ahead and open the lawnmower and show you guys that that should hopefully not have any of those issues with bolts and we can actually show you guys a little bit more about that one okay so there we have it guys here's what you get now you get the lawnmower like i mentioned pretty much already assembled you do actually get included the side discharge again you do get your rapid charger hundred dollars on this own you get two six amp hour batteries these things are massive guys now value wise you're looking at a hundred dollars on the charger and each one of these is about two hundred dollars if you buy them on your own so just in charger and batteries alone you are already at about the five hundred dollar mark if you go with the five hundred dollar version you do get the exact same two six amp hour batteries with the rapid charger so you're still looking at an amazing deal you're basically paying for the batteries and charger alone and getting a free lawnmower there's not much in terms of setup for this thing besides removing some of the plastic wrap and you have a spring-loaded door here so you're gonna remove the wrap you've got your instruction manuals you've got your key and this does have two bays so you can put both of the six amp batteries in here and actually they both are actually connected in one way shape or form but you use this key to jumper between them so the key's got an arrow depending on where the arrow is pointing that's the battery that's being used so you only use one battery at a time and what everybody raves about on these things is the one-handed level system and wow that is literally just one-handed i can raise it all the way up so here we go i've kind of removed all the wrapping and i've put in one battery that has two bars and if you notice it actually still has space here because ryobi does sell a seven and a half amp hour battery 
and I would imagine that that one probably fills up all the way to the edge here but if you have a much larger lawn that might require those you could go with the seven and a half amp hour batteries which will last you quite a bit longer and those will also fit in this setup here now the two six amp hour batteries together have shown to give you uh, what Ryobi claims about 70 minutes so a little over an hour of continuous runtime which is amazing and they claim three quarters of an acre but I did see a review where they were only able to get half an acre and but still one hour worth of continuous mowing so basically I guess it depends on how fast you set the trigger and how thick or light your lawn is but you will get right around one hour of continuous mowing which is basically most of what you'll need for a normal suburban home guys i don't think you're gonna need more than that so i've put one in here i've got the arrow facing the battery now basically all you have to do is according to this here variable speed is set your max speed so basically what is the fastest that you would ever want this thing to go at and then squeeze the handles first and then press the button and once you press the button, the lawnmower is ready to go. And it doesn't start going right away. It waits for you to give it the depress. So we press the handle. And I believe you only need to press one of them. You don't need to press both of them. So we can press one handle and then press the button. And there you have it. And you guys can see it's not running even though we've got on max and it won't run until we press this button down. There you go. So you saw there, very light press and it actually, and as soon as you let go of the handle, the blade stops spinning. Now, I believe you can also just press this and go down and it'll move without the blade spinning. There you go. So that's nice now let's say if we put this on minimum what's that going to look like with a little bit of propeller it's a lot slower guys and eh. a lot slower a lot slower so we can go ahead and put that in the middle here and try that it goes pretty quick it goes very quick this is pretty cool i like the fact that I can set it and basically this thing is not going to go off right away as soon as I hit the button it will wait for me to be ready to give it gas and then do what I got to do. And it seems to be variable and really really nice. So very very easy operation guys. I mean the motor sounds pretty strong. I mean that's That is very, very strong. And you also get your LED light in the front. Anyways, guys, this is the new Ryobi 40 volt HP Crosscut Smart Trek lawnmower. I'm excited to try this out. This has been the first look, giving you guys some of the specs. And I'm hopefully in a future video, I will show you guys what it does once i cut my lawn and give you guys some of my impressions after getting to use it the goal is going to be to be able to make use of these two batteries to cut the lawn all at one time without the need of using any other battery as same as using the four amp battery in the string trimmer to do all of my string trimming duties from edging around the trees and around the sidewalks this using only the batteries that come with the products again my blower come came with a four amp battery and that one usually lasts for all of the utility work that i needed to, to use after cutting the lawn and i hope these two machines also can last with their provided batteries for what i'm going to be using on the whole lawn 
but those impressions will come after I my first use for now this was my first look first impressions pretty happy with the mower not so happy with the string trimmer I hope it just happened to be the one that I had got and when I get the replacement should have no issues but with that being said guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's a little different not anything related to cars but it's stuff that i am super ha excited about electric battery operated stuff is basically taking over and this is the one spot where i'm converting over to electric first here at home and who knows maybe later i'll end up converting to electric or we'll be forced to by the government and when it comes to our automobiles if you guys enjoyed this content make sure to subscribe i don't really do too much of the lawn stuff only if i get some new interesting toys stuff like that this being one of them and i will be definitely doing some follow-up reviews with this stuff guys again this was just a first look at the products what you get and some of the specs and how they work so so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one